Well, they were on there. Let's get it right again. Take the three brass armature contacts and bend each one of them into an L shape. There we are, that's the three pieces. Ensure the top of the armature is flush with the top of the central rod of the rear spacer. with the spacer ring, that would be that piece then. I think I need three hands for this. the contacts onto the front spacer and then hold them in place with the spacer ring Finally slide the spacer ring onto the tube and over the three contacts to hold them in place. Slide it as far down as it will go. There we are. sure I've got that piece on the wrong way round. Let's 
certain. I'm sure that's supposed to be that way around. That makes more sense. Supposed to have stayed on there. Struggling a bit here, but that's the way it's supposed to be. Slide the armature plates onto the shaft, take the front spacer, slide it onto the shaft, take the spacer cap, slide it onto the motor shaft, so it fits on there and holds them in place. our armature. Next step is marking your motor to wind the wire round each of the arms of the armature. Sandpaper. Okay, so we clean an inch of the end again. Wrap the bare end of the wire around one of the armature contacts. Okay. I think you need smaller fingers than I've got. So let's wrap it around three times. Wrap it round 50 times round the armature. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, got to keep it as tight as possible, 16, 17, 18, wrap it round the next contact so we need to Seeing if I can do it without actually having to cut the wire. So I'm cleaning a one inch section. And can wrap it around. said smaller fingers would be better. Now we wrap it around the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we now need to clean there. All right. Right, just before I do that, I'm going to get my meter and just check that we've got electrical contact. Right. 
this way from there. That's not a good start. Alright, that's okay from there to there. So that also ought to be to there. Yep, that's okay. So we can move on. Another 50 turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just tidy that bit of wire out of the way. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 50. And I've remembered what this wire is called. It's called enameled wire. So that's only taken me half an hour or so to remember that. So now Too fiddly by half for me. That should mean have contact from there to there, yep, and from there to there, that's not so good, yes we have contact from there to there, might need to clean these a little bit with the sandpaper obviously got a bit of a coating of something on them. Still, we should be able to cut that one now. So that's our armature ready. Put your motor together. Put the armature into the motor base. Let's be careful not to bend those. And the first thing I did was bent it. Yeah, that one's not making contact. Bend it over a bit more. Okay. Now we need to put the magnets in. 